<sighs> Hi guys, I'm Mark. I'm Penny. And we are the Oyster Boys. And today we're going to be trying to find out, can you make a good wheat beer with Vosk Vake? <laughs> well, this is weird because it's the first beer that we've not reviewed via commercial or homebrew compared to another. This is purely... It's out of the ordinary. It's, yeah. It, it's what, <laughs> what does this taste like? <laughs> yeah, so basically we, we made a wheat beer. Um, Oberon, yeah, the which we taste in the mice shed, yeah, the so, oyster shell. So the recipe which is, is great. the, uh, we use Bell's Oberon recipe. Uh, is it like a clone recipe from the malt miller? Yeah. Um, and we split the batch in half. We used two different yeasts. One was the um, American Hefeweizen yeast. Yes. And the other one was a uh, Voskvake. I think it was a Mangrove Jacks Voskvake, was it? Is this for these two or is this for the original? No, the, for these two. So this, oh, one, yeah, this yeah. one's the American Half Bison. This one is Mangrove Jacks yes. Voskvake. And uh, we're going to see how they're different because a lot of people talk about Kvake like it's the miracle yes. yeast. You know, you can make any type of beer with it. It doesn't matter about the temperature. You can crank it up really high and see how it goes. But, but I believe for a wheat beer, it's all about the wheat. Uh, the the, the wheat. <laughs> it's all about the wheat. Ah, it's ah, all about weast, the yeast. Wheat, 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 wheat. It's not about the hop character. It's all about the yeast and the fermentation. So, how does Quebec do? Quebec? I don't think. Right, my personal opinion is the Quebec is going to taste like a multi. Maybe a multi hells and <laughs> the other one, the American Hefeweizen. It can taste like a really nice American Blue Moon style beer. We'll see. We'll see. I, I mean, I. Ports? I don't think the fake one is going to be very good as a wheat beer. I think it will taste good, but it won't taste like a wheat beer. No. It'll taste like a lager. <laughs> <laughs> It'll, it'll taste very neutral. But if it... Because Kvek is a... It, they, they say it's a neutral yeast. Yes, but and it's not, not what you not want what for you a want. wheat beer. You but want... this is putting it to the test, isn't it? This is saying, yeah, I can, this beer does everything well. Let's put this to the test. Yeah, let's put it to the test. The Oyster Boys said we want to find out, so we're going to find out. So It's a good test. Let's get this in the glass. Yes. What, I mean, what glass are you using for which one? Just so I want to I want to match up. So what are you doing? Um, I've got the... Quebec in the Tolly, sorry, the Tolly, the pint glass. Yeah. I've got the American Hef voice in the um, <laughs> in the wheat wheat beer. in the wheezy glass. All right, let's go. So, right, I mean, <sighs> I reckon we're going to see some distinct differences in these beers straight away. It's, it's a nice experiment to do because you're literally making the same sort of word. Oh yeah, and then you're well, separating. I made, I made it the same beer end. and I just split it into two batches. I mean, I tell you one thing: this Quebec <laughs> head is fan. Fantastic. And I tell you what, he looks good. And I mean, one thing considering two boys that have made that have done reviews in minus two degrees and it's cold tonight, I'm still shivering. <laughs> still shivering. It's cold out here. It's cold out here. At least it's not Canada. I mean, I would say there's some distinct differences here in the way these beers look. Which is what we want. Considering they're the same beer. Well, it's the same malt bill, isn't it? It's all this the same is all malt. Down to the yeast. Yeah. Look at this. This is the difference a yeast makes. One dark, you'd call that a brune. <laughs> the other looks like what you would expect an American head bison to look like. <laughs> yes. Wow. Jesus. It's a big difference, isn't it? It's crazy. That's just <laughs> from the yeast. The colour, I, you know what? I was expecting smell and taste to be different, but not the colour. No, the colour's hugely different, isn't it? That's... If someone turns... If, imagine my missus going, I'd like a wheat beer type colour. They go, would you like Kvev yeast? <laughs> or would you like American <laughs> Air Force yeast? And, and you know, this is... They're completely different. It, it's, it, there's... Some people would look at a beer and if it's a bit dark, they say it's been oxidised. Like, I, I can guarantee, like, I was as careful as careful can be yeah, look, with this. This was, th this is just what the yeast did to I this beer. I would never, I honestly would never 
If someone said to me, goes, right, as a home brewer, what difference on colour does yeast make? I would go, nothing. Well, clearly that's not, not the well, case, is it? <laughs> clearly. Um, that is... I'd expect flavour, head, everything but colour. I don't know why, why I would suggest that, but I just didn't think that yeast had much effect on colour. Well, clearly it does. I mean, I'm, at this point, I'm not, I'm not, I, I don't think we should rate it like our normal oyster score. I think we should just go through and talk, talk about it. Talk about it, it. yeah, oh, I agree, because yeah. how can you, because we're not comparing one yeah, to no, the other. No, so, um, um, you know, this, this as a non-wheat beer yeast, and this is a wheat beer yeast, if I was going to say which one of these two looks more appealing, it's definitely this one. Yeah, for I me, agree. Yeah, for yeah, me. it would be the same. I would say this looks slightly like Schneider Weiss, but this still looks better. This looks muddier than Schneider Weiss. Mm, yeah, if, okay, if, yeah. That, if that word is a word, yeah. yeah, yeah like, more yeah. muddy is a word, but like not usually for describing beer. Yeah. But it does look. I dull. definitely go. I would like to drink that. Where yeah. if that was poured out, we go. Ooh, can I finish that pint? Should you give me a sniff? Yes. The new scores given was just pure experiment oyster experiments. Yeah, no scores, just just experimenting. What are you going for? Okay. I'm gonna. Um. And don't more of an alien smell. Oh, this it's a smell that wouldn't be out of place in a English bitter. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Whereas this one. Booty. Yeah. Choo -choo. Choo -choo. <laughs> <laughs> but not massively. Not massively. But yeah. I smell yeah. that and go blue moony. Um, American Oberon, like we tasted the actual yep. thing, definitely almost that sweetness come through. That one, English Ale. Yeah, that is, it's, it's a very bland smell, really, isn't it? And yeah, little, it's, little, not little, little it's not complex. It's not complex. Yeah, there's nothing it's exciting just, going Hey, there. here you go. Yeah. Here's what it is. Um, so, so, okay, so, so far we've got, this one wins on the looks. Yes. This one wins on the taste. Yeah, okay, yeah. Sorry, the aroma, sorry. We aroma, the only that. just so for me. Yeah. Um, Should we dive in? Yeah. Which, so. which one do you uh, Kiev first? first, always. Kiev? Kvake. Kvake. <laughs> Kvake. That's the chicken style that I like. Ch chicken Kiev. Cheers. 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 Oh, oh, that's oh. your finger. <laughs> I... That it's not bad, is it? It's not. It's, you know, it's not a bad beer. It's just but, heavy on the but after it, notes. Well, no, it's it's not. It doesn't. It doesn't take. It doesn't feel like a wheat beer in my mouth. No, it's just. But I feel like there's a real tanginess that I feel like there's a lot left that's not been eaten by the yeast that I don't want to drink. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's sort of like with it's a beer with baggage. <laughs> It's like it's a, it's a beer that's been divorced three times. Yeah, hundred percent. <laughs> this is a beer that's been divorced three times. There's, there's, it's, it's good on the front, and you taste it, and then you go, "What's that after flavour? I don't like it. I don't like you." It's not right. It just. It's not take... right, is it? It's not. No, no. I, I, I'm just going to try this one. Cheers. Cheers. Because I, I would usually go in for a second drink, but I really don't Cheers. want to. It's definitely nicer. It's not nice as the Oberon, but mm. yeah. I mean, that's a that's a that's a nice beer. Mm. To be fair, I mean, we didn't. It's clean. Yeah, but you've still got that really nice wheaty. I still got the hoppiness. Ba banana same. clothing. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's the, it is the same beer. The hops are the same. It was literally the same. I made the full batch in the grain father, mm. and when I was mashing it, or when I was turn it out, I turn half into one bucket, half into another, and then I mixed them back together and then put them apart so I knew that it was even, everything's equal. I like that. I don't like that. <laughs> yeah, this is... It's unfinished business. Uh, yeah. The, this one, All of, everything I like about a wheat beer, the banana, the clove, the silkiness in your mouth, yeah. It doesn't exist in there. Oh, no, no. It's, it's like a weird ale that's like... 
Where is it? Oh, Whereas this one, this one has all those things, which I like. It's, it's weird because I get, when I taste this, I get like a tanginess from the start, like a, almost a tartiness straight away. And then I get this baggage at the back that I know that shouldn't be there with the beer. Whereas when I taste this, I get like straight away the banana. And then it's clean bitterness and it's silkiness straight through. Yeah. But, and that's Whereas this is baggage. It's like, I'm not finished, I'm dirty. I don't know, is it that? It's dirty. Yeast converts sugars to alcohol and then it cleans itself. Yeah. Maybe this is that dirty cat that eats your food but doesn't clean itself. Uh, I uh, don't know, I don't know. Maybe. I mean, what I would say is that if you want to make a wheat beer, use a wheat beer yeast. Yeah, but I've always don't, wondered don't. this, going, what's going on with this wheat beer? But, I mean, look at that. I mean... Yeah, it's worlds apart. They are worlds apart. It looks, aroma, taste, everything. Um, yeah, but no, they are they are massively different beers. And I would not make this again. I would not even go down this road again. No. No, no way. No way. No way. Who's <laughs> no, I really wouldn't. But I, you know what? I'm glad we did the experiment, because I would never... Um, I would wonder why, because I've always gone, why did they use, why is it hef ice? Why is it hef, hef, hef? Why is it this yeast strain? Well, well no, clearly. No, yeah, because they know what they're because doing. Because <laughs> it makes a good beer. <laughs> and if you don't use it, it makes a shit beer. Yeah. And, and, and well, so many people might be watching this going, oh, I'm going to make a wheat beer. I'll just use SO5 or SO4 or a standard ale yeast. Don't do it. No. Use the actual hef. And Hefe I tell you yeast, what, yeah. this is nothing on the German Hefeweizen. No. The, you know, it's it's American wheat beer, but it ain't it ain't no Hefeweizen. It ain't no Hefeweizen. No. It's a good, it's a great it's a good it's, it's good, good beer, beer. It's but good it ain't beer. no Hefeweizen. No. It wouldn't even score in, in the category. They wouldn't even qualify it. This one here is not a beer. Right, I'm sad. <laughs> I'm sad that we've got twenty pints of it. That that. That's the reality. We, we, but it's the same grain bill. Same grain bill. Yeah, it's bill. the same grain bill, same hop, same everything. It's, it's, we literally split the batch, but I don't want to drink any more of this. Mm. And we've got 20 pints of it. Yeah. 20 pints of this, I'm happy with. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Ah, what's it um, say? Oh, it's, it's, oh, I would say, you know, overall, the question we came out with was, can you make a good wheat beer using Voskovec? And the answer is... No. No. <laughs> It's no, simple. I don't think people that were watching this video from the start would expect anything different. In fact, I think it would just agree with their situation, but it's good for them to know it, the experiment has been done. I, I cannot see how anyone can argue with what we've done and then make a good wheat beer with Voskiev. And if they do, then let's meet up and you tell us how you do it. Well, you want to fight outside, yeah? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, because the thing is, you know, we've done a, a tried and tested recipe that we know works. Yes. And, and it's not a particular half bison, it's American wheat beer. It was which... American wheat, and it was a fantastic American wheat as well that we yeah. tried. You know, that was a beer that we did, we loved it, we tried it, it was great. We've tried the same beer with fake, just awful. No, not all, well, I mean, it wasn't awful. If I, like, if I just... ordered it in a pub, I'd drink a pint, and I, but I would not order a second one. I think people say life's too short to drink bad coffee, but I think, well, if it takes you four weeks to make bad beer, life's definitely short. <laughs> too short to drink bad beer. <laughs> it's true. That is true. This one's good, though. Yeah, but if you would like to taste this, Kiev, send us your address, and we will send it free post. <laughs> Kiev, Kvake, Kvake. Kvake. You can have the rest for free. Yeah, honestly, we don't want it. And in the northwest, let me know. Ah, Are you gonna have it? I thought we were on for something special. I thought we would be on for something special. This is special. This is nice. It's not as nice as the original. It's not. This is bad. <laughs> mm. I wouldn't drink that. No. 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 I suppose that's that's pretty much it for this video. In no, that, yeah. so we've. In answer to your it's question. It's strange for us because we usually give oyster scores, but today was experimental beer. 
Yeah. It's the first experimental yeah. video we've done, so give us a review. Say, hey, Oyster Boys, we like your experimental videos oh, or not. Or, oh, oh. um, hey, Oyster Boys, shut up. Yeah. Um, or stick to reviewing beers, just say that. Um, but, but we'll stick to reviewing beers. But really, I, I mean, I'm shocked at the difference between the two. Yeah, I think that was a big surprise um, for me and you. Yeah. You can't do a triangle test when you get drinks like that. Yeah, and you can't do a triangle test when there are two people. No. <laughs> so, so, deal with that. But uh, it's been a great smash like, hit subscribe, do all the other things. Ring the bell, hit the button to ring the bell when we post a new video. Ding, 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 